first chip is working, it's a CD4060, that's an oscillator that can be used with an RC oscillator or in this case with a crystal quartz and uh, it has an integrated divider so we get a 2 Hz signal here on the next chip. This will divide that again and provide me a 1 hertz signal for my counters. Uh, by the way, I made myself a plan, a sketch with all the chips, with the pinout, with the internal uh, connections and I started drawing with different colors. So I drawn that by hand, so that's the most convenient and easiest way and that's my plan for the board. 
And I also have another plan that is uh, mirrored. So this one is the plan for the for the top side and the other plan is then the mirror side down below. Next chip is a 7476. That's two JK flip-flops in one case. And you may notice the date code, it's from 1981. And it seems this chip is still working well. Now I have my 1 Hz signal. Just what I need to drive the first digit counter. just finished the second digit here for the seconds and I realized that I made a major problem uh, or I have a major problem because I'm not actually building what uh, is in my sch schematic because I'm using different chips and the whole thing here doesn't work. Well, what's the problem? The problem is I have these decoders here, uh, that's the equivalent to a 7442 and on my schematic these decoders output a logic high when the output is active, so the LED turns on, everything ok, and I can use the signal here to uh, switch the next counter and so on. The problem is now I'm using the 74145 and that's basically the same chip but it has open collector outputs and that works like so. This is my chip here. There is a transistor inside for each output with its emitter to ground and the collector comes out at the pin here and here is the drive circuit for the rest and that's handy for the application I have with this mechanical display so I can add the display here and then go to the plus 5 volt rail up here 
So that means if this output is actually high or if it's active, this transistor uh, will tie this pin to ground. The display will advance one step, but if it's active, it goes low. It doesn't do the same as this one here. That goes high on the output when the output is active and my version goes low. So the signal at the output is inverted to what I have here on my schematic diagram. Uh, and that's quite a problem because the, the carry bit for the next uh, counter does not work. The reset does not work because everything is just inverted. So, what's the solution? One solution would be to insert inverters here, 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 here. I need nine inverters for the entire circuit. That's two additional chips and as you can see I probably have space here and maybe here but yeah you know it's already a big part of the circuit is already done so additional chips that's not really what I want or what I could use here. So I had a couple of quite hard minutes to think what the solution could be and I finally found a solution that is relatively easy. It mainly consists of uh, rewiring a couple of things. So the good thing is I only wired uh, the first two, two counters here, the seconds. So there is not much to change and the rest is not done yet. So it's always a good idea to test your circuit step by step. You make a little sub-circuit, for example the one second counter, look if it works, then you go to the 10 seconds, you check if it works and well in my case it didn't work. So my solution is this, instead of taking the signals on the output, I take the input signals here on the 4-bit bus from the counter and for example for the carry bit from the first counter to the second I just need to rewire this from output 9 to the fourth bit here. The fourth bit has a value of 8 so that mean, it means it turns on at 8, it stays on when it changes to 9 and it goes off when the whole counter jumps to zero and that's the moment when the next counter should count one and that's exactly what it does. So instead of taking the wire from here, I take it from here and the rest of the circuit is still the same. That's easy to do. Uh, the next is a little bit more complicated because I took output number, si number six here to uh, reset this counter because it should only count to 5 and when it jumps to 6 it resets and uh, displays 0 immediately. So the number 6 is theoretically counted but it's so short uh, it wouldn't display even on a LED display you, you couldn't see it, it's, it's a couple of nanoseconds or something, it's just a switching delay of the chip. Um, but when I take it from the binary side I need bit number 2 and bit number 3, that's value 2 and 4, and uh, that of course is then 6, so I need an additional AND gate here. And I also need an additional AND gate here for the 50 minutes for uh, to reset that. And here on this side it's again relatively easy. I need 24. I first took the 2 and the 4 output here. 
Now I take bit number 2, which has the value of 2, and I take bit number 3, which has the value of 4. So we also have 2, 4, an AND gate that was already planned in the old schematic, and the rest of the circuit is the same. So, and fortunately I have two unused AND gates, because I use a chip with four AND gates. Now I use all four of them, and on the old schematic I would only have used two of them, leaving two empty, not uh, connected. And well, that's what I have to do right now. And finally, it works. 7, 8, 9, 0. Isn't that nice? Two. That took a little bit long because I had one wire that was installed the wrong way and uh, that took me almost an hour to find that problem because I thought it's some th something else. I installed uh, some filter caps because I thought it's something with the supply voltage but it was just a wire that went from the wrong place to another wrong place. By the way, I always was remembered by this clock to something I knew and perhaps you're familiar with that clock too. Star date, shipboard, yeah it's from the uh, Star Trek original series. The captain's chair, clock chronometer and I think I will do something similar when my clock is finished. are working too. Okay, so the clock is almost finished. There is only the stop LED or the stop warning light that I want to add and then all the electronic part is done. There are the keys. Stop key clock stops, setting the 10 seconds, setting the minutes and setting 
the hours. Okay, let's set a interesting time. Let's say fifty nine minutes and twenty three hours and fifty seconds stopped. <laughs> 